Hello everybody, my name's Snugglebot, and today we're going to be playing a game called Jump Jet Rex. Now, to just kind of tell you what this game is, the description of it is that you're a Tyrannosaurus Rex with rocket boots, and you're trying to save the Earth from a deadly asteroid that's coming down onto it. So without further talking and messing up of me, we're going to go ahead and start this game off millions of years ago. Dinosaurs invented space travel. A Tyrannosaurus named Rex was the first dino knot. This is his story. Now if anybody knows me, they know that I love myself some bitted stuff. And oh, oh yes, this guy has got the jump boots to continue jumping all over the place. Oh, that's neat actually. I have a limit to how many times I can jump? No, I don't, okay. So I can jump as many times as I freaking want, which is nice. I like that. Yeah! Collectible to ship to my room. Oh, it's, my room's right down there, okay. This game is downright adorable. Look at my tiny little T-Rex arms. Uh-oh, that's not good. There's a jukebox down there. There's Dino Closet. Oh, I get to wear stuff eventually. Okay, so I think that just kind of had me go around the place. Oh, there's Dash. Didn't know that. All right. Oh, I can change the music. Oh, nice. Okay, let's let's make him look stylish. We're gonna give him the bandana. We're gonna be a nice purple-ish dinosaur. Uh, don't like that. Yes, we'll go with the Kyo. Okay. Have some, some more music going. Title screen. It looks like that's gonna quit the game. Okay. This looks like where we need to go. Exercise room. Maybe not. Maybe this is just where I thought we needed to go. Have I already been defeated? Have I been defeated before we even got to a level? Two galaxy, okay. Oh, am I supposed to get inside of my car? Is that a, can I get in there? There we go. Okay, figured it out. Figured it out. Figured it out. Dino knot base. Boot camp. Dino boot camp. Oh, they give me a little bit of choice. Okay, well, let's go to the boot camp. Collect all the rings to open an exit. Complete the level to earn stars. Use stars to unlock new planets. X dash. All right, seems pretty simple. Checkpoint, good. Circle, foot drop with circle. Boom, ah, I see. Rocket, triangle. Oh! 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 Okay, I can get killed that way, okay. Noted. Wait till those lasers go. But drop again with circle to go faster. Go up here with the rocket. Woo! Collection found. Goes into my room. So do you think I can actually do it? Uh, L1, R1, kickflip. Nice! What's this question mark thing? What, what happens if I push up onto it? it? Looks to be a secret level. Nice! Nice! Nice secret level! Get all of those, thank you. Psychedelic, man. Look at those colors go. Oh, no, come on, Rex. Come on. Do better than that, bro. Can I kick flip out of my thrust? I can, I can. I can quick flip out of the thrust. That's good. Look at that. You got a star. Basic training done. Oh no, an asteroid. Whatever shall we do? Rex, stop the fooling around. We have a situation. We've detected a massive asteroid heading right for Earth. We don't have enough time to build another rocket to take it out. 
You're the only one who can reach it in time and destroy it. The fate of Dino Kine is in your hands! Oh no, that's no good because if the fate of Dino Kine is in our hands, then that means. <gasps> wow, that's a lot of freaking levels. Are you kidding me? Holy cow! That's a lot of levels! That's a joke, right? My god! Alright, so, that's got some play to it. Alright, let's go back to the beginning then. Up or down, up or down. Flow ride or the fresh meat? We're gonna do flow ride, because it's got snow and it looks like fun. I take it back. It doesn't look fun anymore. I missed all of those. There we go, that worked out better. Found the secret spot. That's right. Oh, the screen's moving. What in the? That wasn't covered in boot camp. There we go. We made it to the end, though. Okay, so now we know that that screen's gonna move when we go to those special stages. We can be more aware, more more agile about it. I didn't think that was going to be a thing, but apparently it totally was. <laughs> no! Brex! You almost made it, my friend. There you go. You made it that time, buddy. Yep! Snap! Oh, there's my burnt body. That's good to know. Give me all the things. Look, it's sand. Oh, I died three times right next to the end of the level. Okay. So, wait, does that mean I have to beat it in 21 seconds? Holy cow. Oh, my God. And I have to do it in zero dust to get the other star? That seems a bit aggressive. So I'm wondering if that's going to cause a cap in the game because, yeah, I need four stars. So I'm going to have to go through and either do them in no deaths or the other way around. So that's what's going to cause the issue with these, uh, with these is that I'm going to have to get the preceding stars. So I might have to replay levels quite frequently in order to actually get them finished, which isn't the worst, but it's not my most favorite type of gameplay. I don't like having to redo levels because I sucked at it the first time to allow me to go on continuing. Here goes the ring. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Come on. The music is pretty nice. It's nothing that's going to, I don't know, it might win at rewards. I don't know, I'm not a very good judge of music. I picked the wrong person to win America's Got Talent, but that's neither here nor there. I don't know, it just, it's not sticking with me as much as some other games have with their, uh, with their chiptune music. Although this game definitely seems like it lends itself to speed running, I want it to flip. Due to the fact that it's set to be kind of like a... Like a dashing game with the up and the down sections. Uh, 23 seconds and zero life. So we didn't do either of those. So you know what that means? That means we have to retry it because we're not going to have enough stars to make it through the section. So here we go. Oh, I get a I get a ghost to show my best from before. That's nice. I do like that. That's neat. Oh, I didn't get all the rings. Oh, bollocks. That's not good. Oh, that was me being dumb. I should have just was in too much of a hurry. Uh, 
I think that was all of them. Oh, got myself killed. Well, let's just restart it. We're gonna restart it. Okay, so now we know we have to get all the rings still. So that's... We should have known that from the get-go. That should have been, like, number one of our list of things to make sure we got was all the rings. We're just gonna restart it again. We're gonna do this no death, super fast. Look at that, did you see that skill? The old in and out. But drop, go up, up we go, up we go. So the game feels slightly sluggish if you're not using the, the thrusting like you're supposed to. I went to go kick flip. So if you're not using like the triangle, the square, and the, the boost like that, the game does feel a bit sluggish. So like I said before, it does seem like it leads itself to speed running by using these mechanics. So until you get used to those, it might not be, you won't feel like you're flying through the levels like you're supposed to, um, which isn't, not necessarily a, a bad point of the game, but it definitely got a little bit of a learning curve to make yourself be able to go through the way that you want to go through. Okay, now why is it not kick flipping when I push you to buttons? Oh! Come on, T-Rex. Do it for Poppy. Do it for Poppy. Do it for Daddy. Okay, we didn't make it in time, but we did the no death. We did the no death, that's all that matters. And we kinda, we're doing it as fast as we could. Once again, like I said, oh, we can get to this planet? Oh, because now we have four stars in total. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we just need to do that. So, time to go to the snow blind. And now that we're, we're more aware of how this game works, we should be able to do a little bit better progressively. Oh my lord, they're gonna be all over the place. Boo! The levels went from kind of following a pattern to now just being ran. I need to get 11 of these babies. All right, well, here we go. For better or worse, we're gonna find as many of these things as we can. So now it, this level feels like Pac-Man. And by that, I mean, feels like I'm just running around aimlessly trying to get as many of these blasted things as I can. Did I get everything down here? Nope, I need to get this one still. So I'm wondering what would be the best means of attacking this level if it would be to like start, oh, there's icicles that are dropping. There we go, whoop. Oh, come on, buddy. There you go, we got all 15. Ha! Huh! That was lame. We're just gonna casually fall down then. 43 seconds, no deaths. Okay, didn't even get close to that. 48 seconds, we might be able to do the 48 seconds. All right, we're gonna retry real quick and we're gonna do it as this. We're gonna, we're gonna run in one direction. We're gonna start from the top, work our way down. Or we're just gonna die right off the bat. That works too. Oh, but it wasn't falling. It still hurts me. It still hurts me even if it's not falling. Oh no. Oh, we didn't even get close. We only shaped six seconds off. All right, all right. I got one more strategy to try on this baby. That's the last checkpoint? Why is that the last checkpoint? We would have made it! We would have made it! Oh my god, that was... Okay, we're gonna try one more time. Come on, Rocket. Oh, that was close. Shouldn't have... My old rights, I should have been dead with that. Oh, nuts. Where's that last one at? Did I miss that? Oh, that one right there. That was my mistake. Oh, got it! Got it! The, I got the no death, not the time. I was close to the t time, but if I wouldn't have, if I would have got that st stupid one in the beginning, we would have been okay. But I didn't. Dang it! Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. It's not fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We would have to go back and play these other two levels to get two more stars. 
to play either blue steel or ping. All right, but that does it for uh, for what was it called? All right, well, I think that does it for this episode of Jump Jet Rex. Definitely a unique spin on the thrusting games with the ways you can travel. Like I said earlier, you feel kind of sluggish unless you're using those special dashes and thrust and butt drops and like the jumping's cool. I wish it would have just been like more of a normal platformer that would have just used the jumps to allow you to go, but maybe that would have been boring. I don't know. Um, but it does seem to be more of a time trial based game. So if you're into those kind of games where you have to rerun the levels, hone your skills, and continuously get better at it, definitely a game for you. Especially if you're into like a speedrunning mentality, this may be the game for you to get kind of a foot in the door to try and get those because it does keep a live leaderboard for you to compare yourself with others. Anyways, if you liked the video, go ahead and snuggle up to that like button and give it a firm, yet sensual click. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.